the world of entertainment with Mark S. Allen. Hey, Mark. <laughs> hey, you know, I couldn't help but peg on that story you were just talking about. Uh, this isn't the first time Coca-Cola has put stimulants in its product. Google it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. In entertainment, I've got some good news and some bad news. If you want to see a movie on a big screen, there are going to be fewer screens. Take a look. A big blow to the entertainment industry, Cineworld, the owner of Regal Cinemas, considering temporarily closing all of its theaters in the U.S. and U.K. after Sony announced it was further delaying the debut of the next James Bond flick, No Time to Die, next month until next April. Wall Street Journal says the closure is for sure happening and starts this Thursday. Though on Twitter, Cineworld says it's only considering closing its theaters. Didn't give a date. <laughs> Jim Carrey made his Saturday Night Live debut as Joe Biden, opposite Alec Baldwin's Donald Trump over the weekend in a cold open that took on last week's presidential Hello debate. Years, Carrey Chris isn't the only to play Biden on Biden SNL. We've also seen Kevin Nealon, John Mulaney, Woody Harrelson, and Jason Sudeikis. Speaking of Jason Sudeikis... I always figured that tea was just gonna taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. Yeah, it's horrible. No, thank you. Welcome to England. You may have only learned of Ted Lasso during the Emmy Awards, but the Apple TV Plus comedy is a breakout hit. It just got picked up for a new season. Game of Thrones' Hannah Waddington stars with Jason Sudeikis and said she's in love with this character. How amazing to have somebody that is meant to look like this figurehead on a ship, but if you were to slightly chink away at the armor, it's just an absolute house of cards. And to be able to play the comedy and pathos of that is the greatest gift I could have been given. She's quite awesome in this. Uh, if you're looking for Ted Lasso, uh, you're going to find it on Apple TV+. Plus, and if you're wondering if it's for you, if you like sports and comedy combined, you're going to get it. It's about a U.S. football coach who goes to Europe to coach a soccer team, and it's somewhere between The Office and Parks and Rec in terms of comedy. 